This chick is a sick individual. I'm Philly, 5'9", well ring in right ear. I'm Philly Jones and I'm here at the Lost Lemmy of Freshers Week 2010. Yes, it's that time of year again. And is it absolutely barely Oh my god, crazy stuff going on there. <laughs> Facebook or something. Right. Billy Jones. <laughs> I'm Philly Jones, you're watching XTV's Uncovered. It's time to find out what's been going down in Exeter Town this month. So without further ado, we lift the lid on Exeter's latest antics. I'm here on the set of Universe, XTV's new sitcom, with producers Christopher Preston and Dan Orson here. Give us a low down on the pot then, give us a rough oh. Could be compared to in between us and that skins is more like what you hope that you used to be like, and in between is more like what it's what's really like. Yeah, really. Well here we are outside our first venue in Queen Street, 44 below, one of Exeter's newest cocktail bars. I've got the traffic crumble. And it's time to find out now what the girls thought. Just say green for go, amber for okay, or red for no? Green for go. Green for Exotic. go. Long Island iced tea. Long Island iced tea. Oh, it's one with a classic. Oh, oh do you like it? Just. Oh, it's so good. It's very minty to me. <laughs> you get quite a hit from it. <laughs> Even after number three. Yeah. <laughs> now, girls, it's the middle of October, so can you tell me why you've gone with these incredible ice cream looking things? So we're outside Callings after the third and final stop. Six girls still standing, we lost one. <laughs> panic has arrived, the extra student to secure a roof over their head. Well, you may very well be wondering what I'm doing walking along by the quayside on an afternoon searching for Exeter's night spots. Despite plans from the council to abolish all student dwelling, we do assure all property hunters, you will find a bed for the night or otherwise a house for a party. Bob will cross that bridge when we come to it. So, George. Entries for Exeter Scott Town. That's a plug from George. A definite plug right there. So, so what, what? What are you doing? What am I doing? Well, I think it's more about what the goldfish should be doing because he doesn't even have a name, and I think that's really sad because I think he could have some hidden talents. The goldfish. The goldfish. Now we move to Katie and Kim in Devonshire House, who are playing Cupid. Some very lucky students. Not at all. No. I'm Philly Jones and I'm Katie Sieber. Welcome to XTV's 2010 edition of Fresh. How are you finding Fresh this week? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and what holds you in town? I am in La Frauda, Block B. Give me three good things about La Frauda. Everyone's really you friendly. Yeah, I can see, I can see. <laughs> These are the uni experts and they say X is the best. One, two, three. X is the best! <laughs> So, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Oh, lads, romantic time? What does that involve? Can, can I get involved? Can I get involved? I'm here with an interesting couple who've got this cheeky friend. Does he have a name? Stephen? So, love is all about bananas in this case. This cake is making my life, I can tell you that. <laughs> right, it's time to hunt down her husband. See you later. Fair play and don't be ripped off by Valentine's Day. <laughs> You're not going to turn off your mum's doors there with a pair of fluffy red handcuffs. Come on, mum, it's time for some fun. So, we found out what average Joe's up to for Valentine's Day. Oh, so am I. You can add me on Facebook. You're a very appealing girl, you know that. <laughs> I haven't slept in a week. A week? Oh, poor thing. You're, you're worried about losing it. I could call Mark. He's, there's a safe downstairs. He... I cut you open. Oh, he's got a knife. I want you. Don't, please. Bitch. Don't hurt me. I'm trying to stop you, are you? You wouldn't know what to do with it. It takes a lot of practice. Let's hope I don't roll down the stairs with my umbrella, Ella. I'm uncovered. You've been watching Philly Jones. My style can't be duplicated or recycled.